leaving behind everything we thought we knew and diving into the unknown. This is how our investigation into fluoride started, trying to forget any preconceived ideas that we had about what we thought to be a safe product. It was in the archives of the Schneider Steelworks in Kruzul that we found the first piece of evidence that confirmed our worries, a report from 1970 entitled Pollution. In the report, they talk about fluoride, a mineral used to melt steel in the tall chimneys and of toxic smoke. We saw pictures of cows with a mysterious illness, fluorosis, an illness that is apparently caused by fluoride. In the surrounding region, red puffs of smoke packed with fluoride filled the sky before falling into the fields below. Few people remember this, except for some elderly residents such as François Drozdowski, a retired labourer at the steelworks neighbouring his house. There were des bêtes, enfin des des vaches, des vaches charolaises, pour ainsi dire, et qui qui mangeaient à longueur d'année dans ces prés. Et au bout de, de, de certaines années, on s'aperçut que les vaches étaient malades, on dit que les bêtes crevaient, quoi. Et ça commençait par euh, un déchaussement des, des dents, et puis ensuite tout ça amenait à une, euh, une carré, carrément une dégradation complète de l'animal. How could a product that appears harmless to most of us turn out to be so noxious? By aberration? Turning a blind eye? These questions form the backbone of our investigation in several countries. France, the USA, England, Germany, the Faroe Islands. All around the world, people were sounding the alarm. But it was only in 2010 that the WHO decided to class fluoride among the 10 chemicals that pose the greatest threat to public health, alongside asbestos, arsenic and dioxins. It becomes toxic from as little as one milligram per day for children and four milligrams for adults. And the maximum dose is easily reached given the large number of everyday products containing fluoride. What's more surprising is, mixed with carbon gas, you can find it in our frying pans, our clothes, our pizza boxes. And even at a very low dose, their toxicity is considered to be extremely concerning by scientists from around the world. 